Let's take a look at creating an O-Drive uh, graph. Now, o, the O-Drive is based upon upper class limits. So I put in 29, 39, 49, 59, and 69 for my particular example left there. And then our cumulative, and you can have cum cumulative frequency or cumulative relative frequency, it doesn't matter. Now, with cumulative, you add uh, that, that frequency plus all the ones above it. So I got 5 there. This one I'm going to have 5 or 12 plus all the ones above it, which would be 5. This one I'll have 17 plus 12 plus 5. And this one will be 3 plus 17 plus 12 plus 5. And this one will be 2 plus 3 plus 17 plus 12 plus 5. Now I wanted to demonstrate that by hard coding a number so you can just see what the cumulative frequency is. But uh, there's a way you can do it with Excel. Um, directly. Uh, so if I do equals and I'll use my left arrow key to come over here and highlight B2, you see it puts equals B2 or you could simply just type equals B2. Now this one I'm going to do an equals and I'll type B3 plus E2. Um, so this will add this frequency plus all the ones above it. Then I'll push enter and this one I can actually fill down now, like that. And uh, then you'll see it adjust it. This one's B4 plus one right above it. This one will be B5 plus one right above it, and so forth. So anyway, those are cumulative frequencies. Now, um, this is similar to the frequency polygon that we need to put some, some uh, bogus data in there. We need to put a new data point. So I'm going to come here. I click the this 29 held on my left mouse button and dragged over here to highlight that. I'm going to right click on it and choose insert and I'll say shift cells down and then OK. Now we want our O drive graph to start at a frequency of 0 so put a 0 there. Then our ages, well look at our class width 59, 49, 39, 29, this will be 19. Well, I can uh, highlight these like that. Choose insert, choose scatter, and then choose my scatter with straight lines and markers. Now, that's just one way to do it. If you don't want those data points, that's fine. But uh, that's our O drive, and again, it starts starts at a frequency of zero, and then goes shows the buildup. And you can change chart titles and whatever. That's in design layout where you do that. But anyway, that's all drive.